What's the date today again? No idea. Well, we don't know what the date is, but it's the weekend after our Mecca trip. And we're going to Medina. And um, in the car we have uh, our brother Muhammad Tim. He's replaced Yazid today. Um, oh, can we make him do meal today? Can he be doing meal instead? Well, we're going to decide the meal in a moment. Do you yeah. want to say a few words? Let, let's give it. Where is it? I'm introducing everyone. Right, he smiled. Okay. okay. <laughs> that was, <laughs> Sorry, that was a few words. He smiled. That's okay. Fine. We fine. also have our brother um, <clears throat> Tendai Jumai Charles. Yeah, I'm no longer doing meal. That's the important thing. Okay. And you we have Sahil. Yeah. They forced me to be the Okay. Let me. Wow. Um, forced me to. Right. Uh, who's the Amir? No, he's the Amir now, isn't he? No, Tim is the student manager. Yeah. Tim is the Amir. Smiller. You accept your responsibility? He's like. Well, we've all voted in anyway. We are about halfway through the journey. Well, a bit more than halfway, I think. Right, 200, 200 kilometers left. Well, 200 kilometers left. Uh, to Medina. Uh, Sahil slept. First half of it. Beautiful Jum sleep. It was a beautiful sleep. Juma it now is the second half. As you can see. We're rotating it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, me and uh, Timothy here. That's Timothy. Yeah, he knows. We, we know who Timothy is. <laughs> Tell by the flip. Flip it. Anyway, the point is, we'll hop when Eddie there. Inshallah, we'll be there very soon. And um, I need a piss. So we need to go to the next service station so I can relieve myself. Akira, he is a Kafir. Okay. Okay? So he's, in this dunya, he is Manzila Bain al Manzila Tain. He's in a place between two places. He's neither a believer nor a Kafir. In the Akira, by Ijma of the Matazila, he's a Kafir. Okay. Okay? So this is that. Yeah, go on. Okay, we've entered uh, Medina, the blessed city. And uh, Tim's given us directions. Tim's given directions. I'm giving directions just to just go straight. Head straight. Yeah, up. that would help. Seeing as though it's just a straight road. <laughs> Was that your direction? Okay, uh, Juma's at the back, reminiscing. Uh, yeah, awake now. Let him reminisce. Let him reminisce. Yeah. Looking forward to seeing the harem. Looking forward to seeing the harem again. Yeah. We're heading straight for the masjid. Um, and uh, that's it. We're gonna go pray. We're here. Should we make it to the hotel in Medina? Be coming a bit of a mission, and inshallah we'll get something. throughout the masjid, like large wooden, like bolted to the floor chair type Brilliant. things. And they are for speak, like certain, every speaker has his own chair, Brilliant. permanent speaker. Absolutely. Brilliant. So, Sheikh um, Dr. Fadl Ilahi, Sahih his brother, here yeah. in Ramadan, he well? in Ramadan he had a chair, no, he's gone back to Pakistan. That chair. Matt's already out, man. For what? He's coming. Hmm? Maybe, maybe yeah, he shouldn't come after that chair. Which chair is that one for? Up in Mussel. Up in Mussel. Up in Mussel. If he comes, that his students will go as far as we can. Let's see. Five, ten, five pillars back there. I used to sit on the front row, second row. Oh, mashallah. Every day for a lot. Six days a week for all of this mischief. The back there, the entire space is full of young kids. All the way from all of the entire mischief width length, all the way along and all the way in the back. It's full of little kids learning Quran. For adults, there are every every pillar as a teacher. Really? The theme got around. Yeah, the theme got okay. around. 
this is the just in their way this I remember. Yeah, I see that member you can't see the words Okay, that's right. Between that member and the House of Commons, it's the left is the Guardian from the Guardians of Gender. Which is a place that you have to enter into the land, but obviously the land you should be in front of the land. Of Roma, where the archers stood in the Battle of Uhud, and that is Mount Uhud. That is Mount Uhud. This was? Yeah. This here is a valley. Right. This valley would have been full of trees. Yeah. Okay. Right. The moment I come from over there. Right. The exit to Medina. The exit to Mecca. It's over there. Okay. okay. So they come from here. Right. Like this. And the Muslims, they come from Look. Muslim Look. Muslim Look. Way. Either this way or this way. And so they end up coming from this side. Okay. okay. So this is where the... Mountain, and the arch is where we're standing now. So the battlefield took place here then? As obviously the Muslims and the, the far fought each other, the Muslims were victorious. Yeah. And the people, the archers on top of the mountain saw the opportunity to come down. They made their way down the yeah. mountain. They were in their height advantage. And of course what happened was, Khalid and Ali remained far in the in the back of the yeah. the back ranks of the Kuffar. And so he there are two opinions. One says that he came this way. Yeah. Around the back. Around the back. Um, and the other, which is the more correct opinion of Allah Alam, is that he came all the way around the back of the mountain. The bottom of oh. And the reason for that is that this is open land and it would have been very easy for them to see yeah. him coming, yeah? Whereas he came here under the cover of the trees in the wadi. The cover of the trees in the, right. in the wadi. And it was able to come off the back and had the height advantage. When the Muslims scattered, the Messenger of Allah said, I'm scattered to oh, over here. Oh, oh, uh, to, the, to the mountain of Uhud. Right. And he stood on the mountain of Uhud and he called the people. Um, and this is where that event happened. There is a cave there, which they say that it's a cave that he took shelter in, but Ibn Qayyim and others reject it okay. as being not valid. But the point is that we know that he stood somewhere, stood somewhere, and stood somewhere. And, uh, in the mountain of Bahad. That's amazing. So this is the Sahab's This is where Hamza and uh, oh, Muslim Muslim. Yeah. yeah, okay, we're leaving uh, Medina now. A wonderful weekend on the way back to Riyadh. Um, Sahil's first trip to Medina. It's a beautiful trip, absolutely amazing. Yeah, we saw the Prophet's Mosque, yeah. went up Mount Al Hood. Yeah. Um, we made we ate in Beiruti, Sultana Street, and uh, all round good trip, I think. We Benefited, our Iman is on a high. We had camel burger. We had camel burgers. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, Muhammad Tim.
that's what we learned. What was good about this trip? Uh, Juma. What did he say? Uh, he said it was a good trip. Yeah. Yeah, what, what do you think of the trip, bro? Yeah, we met Ibrahim. He's nice. Oh, mashallah, Ibrahim, yeah. The brother yeah. Ibrahim. Yeah. We have to bring him to Newcastle. Big up, big up, big up, Ibrahim. That's what I'm going to add. Okay. Okay. That's it. That was it. Um, heading back to Riyadh now, inshallah. So we should be back um, as soon as we can. Is that going to Okay. Mujib, if you're watching this video, <laughs> right? Skankity McSkank Skank. You gave us a nasty comment. Is anyone from Mujib? Put your ad here. Should we slow down slightly? Is it a big truck? Should we slow down this little bit? Big fat smile in there. Yeah. Did I mention that I'm a new Muslim from England? What did he say? What did he say when we were in the car? He said, I thought he was a terrorist. He though. goes, I thought he was a terrorist, I was going to shoot him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, he pulled his, put his hand in his gun. I saw him when he was coming out the car, he had his hand in his gun. He had his hand in his gun. I was like, my, it's lucky that you guys couldn't shoot for the shit. Who would be dead? Sorry for those just tuning in. Sack has been pulled. Yeah. Uh, are you going to do the video now, Ari? Yeah, I'm starting already. I'm mm. recording. Recording? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Okay, we're just at the first service station. We're out of petrol. <laughs> We ran out of petrol, nearly got shot, stopped at the checkpoints, and um, we didn't get stopped. You went through a checkpoint. No, I stopped. Then I drove off again. No, and you, then said, I you said you again. went through the checkpoint at 90 kilometers an hour. Did and I? Then you passed the truck. <laughs> no, 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 so I went too fast. <laughs> Just for all those who know, that's like 60 miles per hour. Yeah, so oh, I went I too fast through the checkpoint. And, like, um, are you supposed to stop at checkpoints? Tim saved the day. Tim, tell him what you Tim's did. Tim's blue eyes saved I, the day. Uh, had a chat with him in Arabic and told him I was from Medina. And uh, it turns out he was from Medina, so we all became friends. And he uh, wrote the speed as 140 instead of 164. So Saka got away without a week's ban and a 500 real fine. And what were you doing at the time, Mr. Charles? I was just hiding so he didn't see me. He was still a black guy in the car, that was it. <laughs> he might have just shot me. Just for no so. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. I'm like going along with it for a while, like trying to drag it on, and then they get pe they get fed up after a while, and then they just say go. So like again, so again. I'm saying when I play the dumb card, like yeah. I, I play, I can't speak Arabic card, right? I speak like really slowly and stuff with them. I'm trying to pretend that I'm trying to understand what they're talking about and go through my paperwork slowly, and okay. then they get fed up because it's too slow. But you came along, he pulled up, and he said to him, "Do you speak English?" Like put yeah, in that's space. What I said. And he's I'm like, that's what you he's said. like, uh, very good. and then <laughs> like, if you don't speak English, I don't understand what you're talking about, mate. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what you did. So that's I was being polite. No, no, that's exactly what. You did. That's I was like being did. No, no, that was you, me being polite. That's not, mate. That's <laughs> not polite. You were like. The was you being polite. So you said. Do you I, went, said you speak, I said to him nicely, do you speak English? And you were like, I don't speak English. I, I can't no, understand right. you. I don't understand you. I yeah, no, you me. can't. That's, that's just. I was being polite. It was, no. it was a deep so Um Yeah. yeah. We can put that on our list of things that we did in Saudi. Yeah. Now we're heading straight back to Riyadh again. Back on track. Back at 200 kilometers an hour. Action. Action. Okay. Um, second uh, service. Service stop. Filled up. Um, prayed. Toilets were crap again. Full of crap. Rubbish. Rubbish. Um, made wudu. Prayed. Now we're heading back to. I think we're in Qasim now. Aren't we? We're in the Qasim region anyway. We're not quite in Qasim region. Um, everything's looking good. Inshallah. Inshallah. Just um, gonna hammer the rest of this trip over. Uh, Juma, you got something to say? No, nothing really. Just gonna take a nap now, I think. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, what were you gonna say about the toilet? Sorry, Joe? Oh, I just wasn't very impressed by them, that's all. Yeah. Did Not you the say best about standards? Um, yeah, I've got standards now. So. <laughs> okay. Don't feel too comfortable using some of those toilets, that's all. Yeah, yeah they're full of crap, man. Right? Juma refused to use the pipe. Okay. Is that it? That's it. <laughs>